Bullet Train was released in 2022 and is directed by David Leach. It tells the story of Ladybug, a man who was trying to um, get, get a suitcase on a train, on a speeding bullet train through China that is full of money. However, Ladybug must deal with the deadly assassins that are on the bullet train who are trying to get the suitcase that's full of money as well. So, so, um, so, um, so basically it's up to Ladybug to try and get off the speeding bullet train to, to China and try and defeat the deadly assassins and try and get the suitcase that's, that's, um, that's full of money. So, bullet train, um, as you know, I saw this movie in cinemas back in back back in back last month in August, um, over my summer holidays. And I'm sorry this re movie review is just is so late because, because like I said, I've been busy with 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 school and my summer camp and my birthday and stuff. So that's why I haven't got the I hadn't I hadn't I haven't got the time to do the movie review. Um, yeah, but now finally, then today Saturday, um, I finally got the chance to do the movie review on Bullet Train. So um. So um, so um, so yep, and and my thought for Bullet Train, um, I thought Bullet Train was an excellent, well well made film. I want to say a well done to David Leach. He really outdid himself with this movie. Um, I thought he did a brilliant job of directing this movie. It was a brilliant movie. I loved it. Um, David Leach. He also directed um Deadpool two. And he directed this movie too, and well done to David Leach. He really did outdid us, outdid himself with this movie. He directed it very well, and yeah, and the story of the movie is very engaging. There's a very engaging story, and the characters are very engaging too. The humor is hilarious. The action scenes are fantastic. Um, there, there, um. There are, there are two cameos in the movie. Now, I know a lot of people might have seen this movie, but I'm not going to say the two cameos anyway, because, you know, some people out there might still still have not seen this movie. So I'm not going to say the two cameos in the movie, but I'm just letting you know, guys, that there is two cameos in the movie, which I'm not going to spoil, because some people may have not seen this movie yet. So there's two cameos in this movie, which are fantastic. Um, the visuals are amazing. The, the CGI is amazing. And the way the train speeds to China is amazing. And everything about this movie is amazing. It's just a masterpiece of a movie. And Brad Pitt, um, and Brad Pitt, um, is gr great as Ladybug in this movie. I love his character, Ladybug. Brad Pitt is great in this movie, and I also love Aaron Taylor Johnson in this movie as as Tangerine. He's great, and I love Joey King as Prince. She's great too, and 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 I also love um, and I also love. The Bad Bunny in this movie. That's a really funny name for an actor, by the way. I love The Bad Bunny in this movie as The Wolf. He's great too. And I love all the actors in this movie. They're great. Yeah, the acting in this movie is great. And and, and well done to Brad Pitt. He really, he really outdid himself with this movie. He, did, he was great as Ladybug. He, did, he was great acting in this movie. And well done to Aaron Taylor Johnson. He, had, he outdid himself too. He's great acting in this movie. And same with Joey King. Um, um, well done to her too. Yep. They already outdid themselves with this. They were great in this movie. I loved them. Yep. Bullet Train, it's definitely it's definitely it's definitely my favourite live action film of this year so far. And it's definitely my new favourite live action film um of all time. Yep. I just can't believe how good this film is. And I'm i I'm definitely gonna get it on DVD. Um 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 maybe for christmas so i'll see um yeah because it comes out in november so i might get it for christmas so i'll see yeah it comes out on november 24th so i'm really looking forward to getting it on dvd for christmas and i'm really looking forward to watching it again over the christmas holidays it's going to be great yep yep and I really enjoyed seeing it on the big screen. It was great. It, it it's a really a film that yeah um well you don't have to but I'm 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 just recommending it's really a film that you really have to see on the big screen because the action scenes are made for the big screen. But you can watch the film at home, you know, if you want to. But I'm just recommending it'd be really good if you saw it on the big screen because the action scenes and everything are great on the big screen. Yeah, but if you want to get it on DVD and watch it, that's fine. Yeah, that's only a recommendation. You guys, 
you can you guys can do it if you want to but you don't have to like like i always say yeah you can do whatever you want when you watch it yeah and i saw the movie in cinemas like i said um back in back back in august with my mom and my mom thought it was a uh, very good movie too and i thought it was excellent it was very good very well made movie i loved it yep and there's loads of references to Scott Pilgrim in this movie. Not like references, not like real references. There, I mean, like, there's loads of references to Scott Pilgrim. I mean, like, this movie just reminds me so much of Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. It's just the comedy, the action scenes, the way that it looks reminds me, uh, uh, reminds me of Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. It's just like, a t it's, I feel like it's in a, we're in a video game watching the movie. So that's why it feels so much, it reminds me so much of Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, this movie does. Yep. And it's nearly like it's in a video game, the movie is. Yep. So that's why it reminds me so much of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Yep. And there are some colourful um, references in this movie, which are great too. Yep. With the Momo, he's very colourful and stuff. Yep. And some scenes, and some shots on the train are very colourful and stuff. Yep. Yeah, I saw this movie two days after it came out um, on August 5th, and the movie came out on August, on August 3rd. Yep. My experience for Bullet Train in cinema was great. The only problem I had was um, the movie was in a small screen, but that didn't really, that didn't really, that didn't really kill the cinema experience. I still enjoyed the cinema experience in a small screen, even though I would have preferred it to be on a big screen. Um, but it was okay in a small screen. I still enjoyed the cinema experience for Bullet Train. It was great. Yep. And 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 the music in this movie is fantastic too. It's amazing as a uh, as an amazing soundtrack. It has two uh, has two amazing songs that they have in Japanese language. Like they have "Staying Alive," they have "Celebrate," and they have. Se se um and they have celebration by cool and the gang so that they're three there are two amazing songs that were fantastic the way they put them in japanese was fantastic and celebrate was good fantastic song i loved it and the soundtrack of the movie is fantastic yep and there's no nitpicks i have this movie at all i love this movie so much yep my mom had one nitpick with the movie she felt the start of it was a bit slow but then she enjoyed the rest of it but in my opinion i i thought the start was fine so i had no nitpicks with this movie i thought it was a fantastic movie i loved it yep i adored this movie so much i loved it yep it's a definite it's a de it's i'm definitely gonna get this movie on dvd and i can't wait to watch it again and get it on dvd it's gonna be great yep The only, and there was kind of one nitpick I had with the movie, but it wasn't really a big one. I found the start scene a bit scare, a bit, a tiny bit scary, but that wasn't, that wasn't really a nitpick I had. I just found it a little bit scary, but it was fine. Yeah, just the start scene of the movie, I found it a little bit scary, but I still liked it, I thought it was good. So that's not really a nitpick I had, it's just an issue, a kind of a small issue I had. I just found the start of it a bit scary, but it was fine. Yep. So overall, Bullet Train is excellent i can't believe how good this film is it's a fantastic film it has a very engaging story very engaging characters great a great soundtrack great music amazing visuals great acting um some shots of the movie are colorful um the humor is hilarious and and everything else about the movie is just so fantastic um um 
while the start of it is being scary, that doesn't bother that doesn't bother them bother the movie at all. Yep. And it's great directing in the movie as well from David Leach. Yep. And I'm definitely gonna get this movie on DVD for Christmas. I can't wait to get it again. I can't wait to watch it again. It's going to be great. Yep. It lives up to the day. It's it's definitely the best live action film of this year so far. And it's definitely now my new favourite live action film of this year so far. Yeah, it's taken over Scott Pilgrim vs. The World as my favourite live action film of um of all time. So Bullet Train is now my favourite live action film of all time. Yep. Yep. And Minions 2 The Rise of Gru is my new my new favourite animated movie of all time. Yeah, it's definitely the best animated m m film of this year so far. Yep. So yeah, I'm going to give Bullet Train a very strong and a well-deserved 10 out of 10. So yep. And hey guys, it's me again. And today I'm going to, and today I'm going to be doing a movie review on Bullet Train. Yep. So yeah, that was my movie review for Bullet Train. Hope you enjoyed it. And, um, and stay tuned for my next movie review, which is going to be a movie review on... I have, I'm going to have two choices to review. I'm either going to review Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead, Man, Dead Man's Chest, the sequel to the first part of the Caribbean movie, or I'm either going to review The Blind Side, starring Sandra Bullock, Lily Collins, and and that's all who's in it. Yeah, I'm either going to review um, 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 e either one of those movies, and I'll pick, I'll pick which one I want, I'll review soon. And I'm going to review it next week, because tomorrow I'm doing part three of Stranger Things and Other Characters School Adventure, so you can stay tuned for that. Yeah, if you can. Yep. And then that'll be my next movie review. Yep. So, but anyway, guys, um, hope you enjoyed this movie review, and, and, yeah, and stay tuned for my next movie review next week and yeah i hope you enjoyed this movie review and take care guys and um hope you're having a great day and enjoy the rest of your day and take care guys and and goodbye everyone and peace and skadoosh take care guys thank you for watching my movie review and skadoosh peace bye bye guys see you later And by the way, guys, um, I got, I, I have a, I have a new, I, I got a new, um, I got a new, I got a new, um, I got a new cardigan, as you can see. Yeah, I like it. It's great. Yep. So, bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Yep. Bye.